Football looking to keep the good times rolling on Monday afternoon, taking on Emerson College in a doubleheader on Monday. And this one would be a pitcher's duel in game number one. Early on, Claire Overton with an RBI double down the left field line is going to score a run. Makes it one nothing in favor of the Lions. But from there on out, Jessica Gomez and Bree Melchionda would go back and forth, dueling it out. In this low-scoring affair, Lauren Bathia ends up tying it up for the Beacons in the fourth inning with a solo shot to right center field. You see she misses first there. has got to go back and touch it. Rounds them all. Beacons tied up at one all. But then from there again, it would just be both pitchers going back and forth, dueling on the mound in this one. But Bree Melchionda would run into some trouble in the fifth inning with two runners in scoring position and only one out. Melchionda gets a big strikeout here to keep it a tie game. And then Working around a walk to the next batter, Melchiana comes back to strike at another batter as dust flies up in her face, but she gets the swing strikeout. We're still tied up at 1-1, one, one. and then Haley Tilbury is going to be the difference maker in this one. As you see, she hits this single to the right side. Carly Rosenberger misplays it on the ground. Tilbury is going to come all the way to round the score and end up giving the Beacons a 2-1 lead, and that is all they would need as Bree Melchionda finishes off a masterful performance with a strikeout there at the end of the game. She strikes at the side in the seventh inning. Melchionda, 8-0 on the year now. She goes seven innings, three hits, one run, that one run in the first. 14 strikeouts for the second time this year, just one off from the record in four walks. And then in game two, Jessica Gomez gets the scoring started for the Lions once again with a sacrifice fly. The Lions would load the base up against Emily Doble and then score three runs in the first. It's Allie Lacey. Lacey's a two-run single. So just like that, the Lions are up three to nothing. They'd end up going up four to nothing with yet another run in the fourth inning. Reaching on an error is Mackenzie Rice as Lauren Miner's throw pulls Jordan Toomey off the base. Run scores. It's four nothing Lions. But then the Beacons start to make their comeback. Amari English, an RBI double. Makes it a 4-1 to one game. You see that one goes all the way to the wall and is going to end up scoring Sydney Sandin, who'd end up having a big hit in the very next inning. But you see now the Beacons trailing by just three. The very next inning, we're going to see it now. Sophie Richland, after getting out on a fielder's choice, would be called back into the box because they said the ball kicked off of her foot. Ends up getting an RBI single to right field anyways. It's now a 4-2 to two ball game. Then Sandin comes up with two on and is going to end up getting the game-tying hit, a two-run double, a long double to left field. Makes it a 4-4 four to four ball game. Sandin had three doubles between the two games on the afternoon. So now we're tied up at four all, and the Beacons not done quite yet. Sophie Richland, who just had the single in the last inning to make it 4-2 to two, in the sixth inning, is going to reach on a fielder's choice here. As you see, the center fielder in Mackenzie Rice diving. It pops out of her glove, but they're going to get the force out at third in Caitlin Sawyer, who couldn't get there. And the Beacons are going to end up winning this one 5-4 to four, as Emily Doble runs into a bit of trouble there in the seventh inning with the base low and two outs. But Amari English makes the catch. The Beacons... 5-4 winners. They're now 13-3 after that doubleheader sweep, tying their best start in program history with that win with the 2017 team, who also started their season 13-3. They look to keep the good times rolling, taking on Keene State in their first Little East Conference doubleheader on Thursday afternoon with first game starting at 2 o'clock p.m.